Redneck Garage. Our Heim joints are in. And I wanted to say thanks to Redbeard's Garage. I'll have them tagged in this video so they know that I'm thanking them because I got these from their channel. <clears throat> they build a bunch of go-karts and stuff and they always use these. <clears throat> so I want to try them out and see how they go. Redbeard, don't let me down, buddy. Don't let me down. Love you guys' channel. So if you guys don't know who Redbeard Garage is, Check them out. They do a bunch of bunch of cool stuff. Let's get this open. We'll uh, save the stickers for later, of course. Let's get this open. And uh, I want to thank you guys for all the support on the golf cart build and the channel all together. And in this video, we're gonna try and tie up a lot of the loose ends. You know, all the dumb stuff, getting these shocks mounted up, and all of that stuff. So, hope you enjoy, but I wanted to show off these uh, Heinz joints. Alright guys, I got our piece of pipe we're going to use for demonstration purposes only. But this is what we're going to make our trailing arms out of. These things, they look, they look really nice. I mean, we'll see if they can hold up or not, but Redbeards, they always, they always use them. So, of course there's supposed to be a locking nut here. You know, um, they're in the bag, but that's what we're going to do. All right, guys, let's, let's get to the bill. Guys, this is gonna be our motor brace <clears throat> we went from the seam the welded seam on this pipe nine and a half inches I brought it a little bit more forward from where the brace was for the brake cable and the frame because we're gonna be coming off of this piece for the front trailing arms and the rear trailing arms and we're also going to be starting off of this for the motor and we'll extend it out to here so these have stability but I probably won't use the round tube I have other stuff that will work for this and a little bit lighter duty stuff we're gonna go ahead and tack this on here we're gonna tack weld it in and get started with that and then I gotta get more pipe for the Himes joints so I can make our track bars and everything so We'll get the, get the welder in. If you don't have a Lincoln welder, you definitely got to get you one. My book, best welder on the planet. Guys, she's tack welded in place so you guys are probably wondering why I tore it all the way apart well because this frame is gonna go to sandblast and uh, I didn't want that sandblasted because I'm a hand sand that but the rest of this can be sandblasted and ripping it apart gives me more room to work because I have to uh, make another bar for 
the uh, steering for the steering rod and all of that and I'm not too sure how I'm gonna exactly do that so we figured we I had enough pipe I could start here I got it nice and straight from what I could tell with the uh, tape measure it's nine and a half inches exactly to that seam so we're gonna get uh, get started on making some brackets for these front shocks so and uh, we got to do brackets for the rear shocks maybe we'll start on the rears now all right let's get started there we go we got our shock mounts welded up I really thought I hit that record button oh you did. <laughs> I didn't but there they are so we got our shocks this shock over here is actually wore out so we're gonna have to replace it but you always replace shocks in pairs so that's gonna get a new one too but that, that one over there that's what it looks like remember guys a grinder and paint make you the water you ain't my welds aren't that bad though are they no, no. not really I'm learning I'm doing good so there you go guys we're gonna we're gonna continue to work on the front shock mounts a lot of you guys are complaining on Facebook about how the front end set up just sit back relax enjoy the show and we're gonna show you how it's done how it looks is not how it's gonna be completed so it's gonna be stronger than that that right there you couldn't drive that thing to your front doorstep without breaking so we'll get that done and uh it's gonna have those track bars and everything so all right guys stay tuned you guys are probably wondering what this was this is the brake cables we're utilizing the stock brake cables because look at how nice a shape they are in they i mean they look brand new other than this ugly bracket that they're mounted to but we're gonna keep that ugly bracket because it won't be so ugly anymore Now guys, that's welded up good enough, but remind me when we get the frame back to be painted, remind me to weld the other side of that. Plus we're going to weld in a brace. I got some flat stock here, we're gonna weld in a brace. So uh, this is basically to keep its position, it's not really structural even though it'll probably be fine. But yeah, just remind me to weld it up more because that's the brakes. I don't want nobody to get hurt. All right, guys. We got our brackets bent to where we need them. Uh, we're going to put them on. Just like so. Do that. They don't have to be 100% tight or anything like that because we're we need to be able to move them around to weld them because we're going to weld them onto these brackets here All right, guys, we're going to work on the steering arm now. All right, battery died on the GoPro, and we caught it. See the kind of stuff you can do with a Harbor Freight tubing bender? I mean, it's just... How can you complain? What was this thing? 99 bucks? 89 bucks? 
Those are some really nice bends. Really nice bends. So we got the steering rod welded up as best as possible. We ran out of wire. I'm gonna have to pull this nut and run another bead. This is one of those things where I've never welded stuff like this together before. So I have to play with heat and wire, but for the most part, it came out all right. I just wanna make sure it's strong. So I'll grind that down and I'll run another bead there and then I'll, I'll practice over here. We got lots of practice to do. So I think that turned out all right for a first timer. Don't you think? I think so. All right, guys. I want to thank you for watching. That's all the time we have for that today. I'm going to have to stop and pick up some wire from Harbor Freight. I use the Vulcan, Vulcan kind. What is it? Vulcan. Vulcan. I use the Vulcan kind. And uh, it, it actually works really well. I prefer it over the Lincoln. I used to swear by the Lincoln wire, and then I used that Vulcan. And honestly, I like it. It splatters less. I, I don't know. I got plenty of welding time under my belt to know, so, you know. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button so YouTube knows that we're good content creators. And I surely hope you enjoyed this episode of Turbocharged Golf Cart. We are getting her done one tiny piece at a time while we're waiting on steel and other things so we can get the, the rest of the stuff bolted up and welded up, so... All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. That's all we got for you today. Peace.